really don't have any stamina. It's pretty bad that you're losing the girls. Aw, hang on. But I beat one person. That girl doesn't count. My name is Shota Miyauchi. I'm a junior in high school. Ah, uh, that was a good sweat. The girl that was running with me was a classmate, Haruno Hinamori. It's so hot. What's that? Oh, this? It's a character I'm a fan of in an MMO I'm playing right now. Isn't she so sexy? I mean, honestly, I actually spent so much money just to make sure I got her on my team when she came out. All of my money from my part-time job went out the window. <laughs> Apparently, she's got a very heavy and serious case of otaku. She constantly spends money on characters that she likes and uses up all of her hard-earned money. I want to shower already. This is another classmate of mine, Rei Otonashi. I always wondered, but why are you always wearing headphones, Otonashi-san? Because I want people to think of me as the headphone girl. Really? Nope. She liked to joke around a lot. I always wear headphones, so I just feel anxious when I don't have them with me. I see. <sighs> I'm so tired. Otonashi-san claims to be a very serious gamer. She's always playing games whether she's at school or at home. She never gets tired of playing games. She apparently really loves FPS games, and she's even actually won a few tourneys. I play games with her when she invites me, but watching her play? She really is good! And finally, the girl who's somehow even more out of breath than me is Moika Fuwa. She's just like me, and doesn't have much stamina. Chota-kun, you're really fast! I couldn't catch up with you at all! She's pretty chill and kind of... <laughs> relaxed. You did so great today. Good boy! And for some reason, she always compliments me. When she compliments me and praises me, I feel like... <laughs> like I want milk! I don't know why, though. Hey, come on! Let's go to the shower room! Yeah. <laughs> Wanna come with us, Shotokun? Ah, oh, that's a great idea. Wanna wash off your sweat in the shower rooms? Huh? Then I'll be sure to catch you, okay? Huh? Huh? You wanna shower with us, Shota? That's kind of perverted, you pervert. I didn't say anything about that. I'm not gonna shower with all of you. What? Why not? Come on, lame. You really aren't going to shower with us? I can wash your back off for you. Please stop messing with me. I'm not going to go anymore. The three of them always like to mess with me, but oddly enough, it doesn't really bother me. I never really had friends. I had a heart disease, and I almost never was able to go to school. I was always in and out of hospital beds. I was treated like a poor animal, and I could never really take part in any of the school events. I was always alone because I couldn't keep up with anyone. And that didn't change after I started high school. I didn't know how to make friends. My disease is cured, and I can even exercise like I am now. I mean, I seriously lack any stamina. And I'm also not very athletic, so I can't say I'm good at it, but I really enjoy moving my body. I thought that maybe I could make friends since I'd like to exercise, but... Uh... Maybe it was because I hadn't spoken to anyone for a long time other than with family. I'd completely forgotten how to hold conversations with people. Time went by with me just being a loner and not having any friends. Something changed for me when we were having our field day my sophomore year. We were all going to run a relay race, and I was to take part of it. It was my first field day and my first ever relay race. I could not let my classmates lose just because of me. They told me that I didn't need to push myself at all, but my condition was cured. I was good to go. I wasn't going to take them up on that. I started training after class every day to try to train myself up. <laughs> every single day, I kept running in preparation for the field day. Then one day... Great job! Here, take this. Huh? Hinamori-san, talk to me. You're always working so hard, and I just had to come cheer for you, you know? 
I'll run with you. That was all it took to break the ice? <laughs> uh, great job! Huh? Then Otonashi-san talked to me. I'll wipe off your sweat for ya! Then Fuwa-san talked to me too. After that, all three of them started talking to me. That's how our relationship began. It was the first time I'd ever had friends, so I don't mind when they mess with me. If anything, I just felt like this is what it was like to be with friends, so it made me feel giddy inside. But still, I was a boy and they were girls. When they touched me, it still made me a little nervous. I wish they would stop me. I start feeling like I might misunderstand. I've gotta stop myself. I've gotta talk to them as friends, because they're treating me like friends. Do not develop any weird feelings. Whatever the case, I want to continue getting along with the three of them. Break time. We would talk about nothing in class. This outfit is way too sexy, right? You guys get it, right? For some reason, Hinamori-san was super excited this time around. I don't really get it. Not interested. Huh, so this is what people are interested in recently? Mocha-chan, don't talk like you're my mom or something. What? And what part of that specifically is sexy? You can just leave it alone. Great, thank you for asking. Look at this. You see the belt on the thigh right here? What's the belt for anyway? What purpose is it serving? Because when it's there, it's super sexy and erotic. I don't get it. I don't really understand either. Okay, let me explain it so that you all can understand. First off, here is a belt. Where did you pull out that belt from? From my fourth dimensional pocket, of course. Huh? Wait, what? So then, we take this belt and we wrap it around Shota's belt. What exactly does this change? How is it? Whoa! See? Erotic, right? Huh? How is this erotic? Oh, well, this is too erotic. Huh? This is not legal to use in public. Huh? I'm so glad that all of you finally understand what I'm talking about. Wait, am I the only one that doesn't understand what's going on? I mean, maybe it's because you're a guy. That's probably why you don't understand. Uh, I... I don't even understand what my friends like. I lack empathy. I should have played more games that are marketed towards women! You don't need to do that. Wait, I have an idea. We should wrap the belt around Harunachan's thigh so that Shota-kun can understand what we're all talking about. What? I don't know if that'll do anything. What? This is... What do you think? Do I look different somehow? That's way too erotic! Huh? What, really? I look erotic? Sexy? <laughs> So that's how we decided that you are never allowed to wear thigh belts anymore. What? Just a little bit more because Shota is finally looking my way. Oh, okay, okay, guys. Sorry. No going behind your back. What? What are you guys talking about? It's a secret. A secret amongst the women here. Sometimes they talk about something that I don't really understand. I'm sure I'm not getting along with them enough yet. Maybe they'll tell me more about what's going on if I get to know them better? I want to get to know all of them better, but... There are a lot of things that I don't understand around them. Like Hinamori-san's little belt thing? That must be what the differences are between men and women. Lunch break. Sometimes we eat with all four of us. Or sometimes I eat all alone, when the three of them have something to do. As for today... Ah! It's Shota-kun! I guess you're about to go eat lunch, right? If you want, would you want to eat in the courtyard together? Fuwa-san started talking to me, so I ended up going out to eat lunch with her in the courtyard. <sighs> Blah. The weather is so nice today, huh? Yeah, it really is. On days like this, you've just got to stay in the courtyard and sunbathe, you know? Best way to pass the time. Right? Oh yeah, if you want, you can use my thigh as a pillow. I bet you it'll feel incredible for you. Huh? Are you saying you want me to lie down on your thigh? Did you not want to? 
I mean, no, that's not it, but are you sure? I'm the one that offered it to you, so of course I'm sure. I feel a lot more comfortable having something on my lap anyway. Really? Okay then. I guess I can. Sure thing. How is my lap for taking a nap on, huh? It's... incredibly comfortable. Right? Great! You can just fall asleep like that, okay? I'll wake you up when the time comes. I don't know how to explain it, but I, f I really feel like I want to drink milk. She's very good at spoiling me, and I think that if I keep this up, I'm just going to be ruined. You know, you really are good at this. Do you normally do this sort of thing? Yeah, I have a younger sister back at home. I let her do this to me all the time. I see. That's why. My younger sister is pretty wild, unlike me. She comes home covered in mud all the time, so it's really difficult having to do her laundry. But she's a little girl that wants to be spoiled, so she's always asking me to carry her or let her nap on my lap. I was so confused as to what to do when I was cleaning, and she asked me to pick her up. You clean and do laundry, huh? Yeah, my parents both work full time, and they don't come home till late at night, so I do what I can back at home to help out. I couldn't really imagine that kind of hard-working and diligent girl from how chill and relaxed she always seems. Maybe that's why I'm always trying to feel like a toddler around her. I think I'm going to shrink real soon. <laughs> Shota-kun, if you want, you can always be spoiled by me. Whenever, wherever. Huh? Just kidding. She teased me! After class, I went back to my house, and Otonashi-san invited me to play games with a text message. This is an online game that I'm playing, per Otonashi-san's suggestion, but it's actually quite interesting. It's an FPS battle royale. I can have a lot of fun, even as a non-athletic pansy, so I like it. Over there! To your right! I'm on it. And she's actually really good at this game, too. I could tell that she plays a lot of games, because she's really good at what she does. I can understand how she wins tourneys. I got them! You really are something else, Otonashi-san. You're getting much better too, Shota. You think so? Yeah, you're completely different from when we started playing. You want me to give you a reward or something? A reward? Yeah, for working hard. I can give you an robotic treat if that's what you want too. Huh? Just kidding. I was teased again. But I'm being serious about the reward thing. Huh? You're really working hard, so tell me, what do you want? I don't know what to say when you're asking me out of the blue like that. If there's anything you want, I'll buy it for you. I've got the money. You're way too chivalrous. Or what? Did you want something that was a little more erotic instead? Please stop joking around like that. What are you going to do if I ask for something like that? We're not going to be able to be in this sort of friendship like we are in now! I don't mind that, though. Huh? Are you saying that you don't care if I'm not your friend anymore? Huh? That's so disappointing! That's not what I mean. I wanted to get along with everyone more. That's not... It was my painful reminder that it was really difficult to get along with people. Shota, you don't want a girlfriend or anything like that? A girlfriend, huh? Someone I like? I mean, sure, it's not like I don't want one. Then I can help you make a girlfriend too. Huh? Are you going to introduce me to someone? I'm okay though. If I'm gonna find a girlfriend, then I wanna do it on my own. That's not what I mean. I'm not gonna be able to become independent if I just keep letting other people help me out all the time, you know? Stupid. Huh? Whatever, let's keep playing. Oh, okay. Let's go for another round then. So yeah, we kept playing games for a little while longer. I was always messed with by the three of them during the day, and ate lunch with them during lunch. I continued to loop in that life every day, when one day... Hey, wanna go on a date next weekend? Date? What's a date? A date is when a man and a woman go on a love comedy run together. I didn't know that at all! I feel like you're right and you're wrong. But why a date, though? Uh, I thought about going on a date with you, and I felt like it'd be fun. Uh, is... is that a no? Uh... 
I've never been on a date myself. I've been on a date a few times on some games. Then neither of us have been on a date before. So it'll be our first time, huh? R right. I guess that would mean that. Okay. Then sure. Let's try it. Let's try the date. R really? Seriously? Of course! Yay! Oh, uh, th don't tell the other two, okay? It's a secret. Huh? Why? Just because. It's more exciting and fun with just our little secret, right? I did kind of understand that point. I was seven different levels of nervous waiting for the day to come. And a few days later, we're going on a date here today, huh? Yeah, the shopping mall. This is considered the biggest mall in the area, Sarubedo Town. It's apparently so big that you literally can't go around the whole place in a day, but you're guaranteed to find something that you like. Is there something that you're looking for? Hmm, no, nothing like that. You know, we've hung around each other since we were sophomores, you know, but we don't really know what each other likes about anything. You like good-looking men, specifically princes that look like they've just showered. How do you know that? You're always telling us. Oh, okay, so just leave that alone, but... I want to research stuff that you like while also shopping. Something I like, huh? You were in the hospital for a while, right? So you probably didn't have many chances to come to a place like this, right? Yeah, I guess this is my first time coming here. Then I think we might be able to find something new to really fall for, huh? Something new to fall for? I guess when she puts it that way, this place is full of romance and dreams. Alright, let's get going. First, we go to the third floor, and you're going to help me shop there. There's a limited edition thing that one person can only buy one of, and... Mm -hmm. I started suspecting that maybe that was the reason that we were here. We were walking all over the place. Oh, sorry. I forgot that you had, like, no energy at all while dragging you around everywhere. I was completely drained. This place is way too big. Are you okay? Do you want to lie down? I can let you lie on my lap. I'm okay. I just need to rest a little bit. Huh? Shodakun? Huh? Huh? I was surprised. How does something like this happen? I can't believe that I'd run into you two like this. Wait, uh-oh. Seriously? We were just here for some light shopping. Mocha wouldn't stop begging me to come out here with her. Harano-chan said she had plans, though. Yeah, so what are you two doing at the mall right now? Well, I was invited by Hinamori-san to come out on a date. You literally told them everything. Oh shoot! It was supposed to be our secret, but I told them! Hey, what the hell is going on? You're the one that said you can't go behind our backs, right? Haruno-chan? Huh? Oh, uh, well, well, that's, um, you know... Huh? Are they mad or something? You've completely broken our deal, right? You're literally on a date alone with him. You're going to break the ceasefire, huh? Well, well, sorry. I just couldn't help it. I just let my emotions get the best of me. If you want to simplify it, then yes. That is exactly why we are angry. Hey, girls, calm down. I don't really understand what's going on. Why are you two so angry about all of this? Are you two mad because I was hanging out with Hinamori-san only? I didn't realize that the two of you wanted to hang out with me too. I'm sorry. I should have invited both of you. That's not what we're talking about, though. Then what is it? We're upset that Haruno had a long time with you and just you. Oh, I don't really understand how that's the problem. But I play games with you all the time after class, Otonashi-san. We play till late at night sometimes. What is he talking about, Rei-chan? Excuse me? Are you really over here nagging at me when you've literally been doing something behind our backs for a while now? And you, Fuwa-san! We eat lunch with just us sometimes, and you even let me take naps on your lap recently. It's super comfortable. <laughs> you guys are all the same, so do you really need to be that angry? Huh? I feel like there's some really weird heavy air here. What the heck is going on? So, in other words, no one was actually sticking to the terms of the ceasefire. You guys were all flirting with Shoda too, huh? You guys are all cheaters, huh? I really don't understand what's going on. Let me organize all of the information of what's going on. From what I hear between the three of them, apparently, they weren't allowed to just be with me, and only me, because of some kind of ceasefire. But none of them were actually following that rule, 
and the three of them were all making little alone time with me behind the others' backs. And everyone is upset about that fact. I don't know what this ceasefire is over. The only conclusion that I can draw from all of this is... Do all three of you like me or something? What? Huh? I guess that's not possible. You guys are super nice, important friends to me. And the fact that all three attractive, beautiful women would all fall for me at the same time? Yeah, that good of a story couldn't possibly be true. Attractive? <laughs> Hinamori sans an otaku? Huh? Otonashi sans a gamer? Huh? Fua sans always just out of it? What? I think you all are very unique, and it's great. Where exactly are you finding attraction in that? I wish that I could be more unique and weird, kind of like all of you are. You're plenty weird enough. I think that I'm way too normal, you know? Run of the mill, so to speak. Uh, what part exactly? I'm way too incredibly mundane. And all of these unique women falling for me at the same time? Yeah, no. Statistically impossible. I like you. We like you, Shoda. We all like you. All three of us, right guys? That's... not... possible. Is it possible? The fact that all three of them like me at once? The... wait a second! All of you are messing with me again! This is not us messing with you. We're being serious. Then prove it to me! <laughs> That's easy. I use you as my wallpaper on my phone. No way! You always made your favorite character as your standby screen, so you always were so proud of how you woke up and went to sleep looking at your favorite character, though. I mean, my favorite character is my wallpaper. She absolutely, definitely likes me for sure! Well, that was easier than I thought. I have been taking your gym clothes and secretly sniffing it when you weren't looking. What? That means that you're definitely head over heels for me? Huh? That's terrifying. I didn't know that Mocha had some kind of weird scent fetish. I always go to sleep with audio of Shoda that I've recorded over the days so that I can fall asleep soundly. And she's got a voice fetish. We really have some interesting kinks, don't we? You really listen to my voice to go to sleep? I don't really get it! You want to try testing it out? Uh, yeah, sure. Shoda? What? Whoa, this is way too erotic. It's seriously going too far. I can absolutely fall asleep with that. This is with the noise canceling. This is without the noise canceling. What do you think? And what is your verdict? I see. You really like me too, Otonashi-san. Yes. What exactly did he figure out from that? I don't really know. Quick break! I understand now that all three of you apparently like me. To be honest with you, I was really, really surprised. But why do you even like me? I know it's weird to talk myself down, but I don't have any kind of stamina or strength. I'm just... I'm just a pansy of a man. I think you are an incredibly attractive man. Yeah, you're always working so hard. I just want to give you head pats all the time. I know that you were working hard for the relay races for the field day. Ever since I talked to you then, I understood that you were an incredibly hardworking man. At first, I just wanted to cheer for you, but before I knew it, that feeling had turned into affection and eventually I had a crush on you. And that goes for all three of us. But all three of us liking you all at once, we figured that it would be way too much for you, you know? That's why we agreed to have a ceasefire so that not a single one of us would try to get ahead of the other. I see. But it turns out that every single one of us has been trying to sneak around each other's back. And each of us has succeeded in their own way. At this point, screw the ceasefire! This is where the fight really begins. Huh? Fight? After that time in the mall... Shota, Shota, I want you to go around with me to go to different MMO events. No, Shota is going to play a BR game with me so that we can get champion. Huh? The two of them are fighting and arguing over who gets me? What do I do in this situation? Shota-kun, Shota-kun, come over to me and let's sneak out while they're arguing with each other, huh? Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's totally fine. Ah! You're really trying to just sneak around us like that, huh? You're all chill and relaxed until, you know, it's time to sneak around and take things from us. 
That's probably how you trick men into falling for you. The three of them were constantly arguing now. I miss the days when all three of them got along well with each other. Is this all because of me too? I think that at this rate, the three of them are just going to be at each other's throats and they're going to eventually stop being friends entirely. Is this all my fault? I don't want that. I think the three of them are all lovely friends and I cherish them all. Sure, I'd be lying if I were to say that I didn't look at them as women at some point in time. They're, they're literally all incredibly attractive women. That means that I have to come up with my own answer. Shona? I'm here to put an end to this war. You just want to sound cool, right? Yeah, he kind of got carried away watching my anime stuff. He's so cute, so quickly influenced and impressionable. I immediately was filled up to the brim with an embarrassing feeling. Back on topic. I've come to a conclusion after seeing the three of you fight over me. I don't want all three of you to argue over me. But, I mean... We have no intention of ever giving up on you anyway. Right, I mean, you can ask the other two to give up on you though. I'd be totally fine with that. That's why I think that in order to bring an end to this fight, I need to come up with some kind of answer. Wait, are you going to choose someone out of the three of us? I... can't do that. Huh? Wait, are you going to say that you don't like any of us? That's kind of sad. Of course not! Enough of that! You don't have to get so angry. Let me just be honest. I like all three of you. It's very difficult for me to actually sit down and choose one of you right now. But right, you like us, huh? <laughs> but I want to come up with an answer for the three of you. I just want you to wait until I come up with that answer. Uh, I mean, I guess if you put it that way. I'll wait for as long as you need. I am just happy and glad to know that you're thinking about going out with me and taking it serious. But I don't want you three to just wait around for me to come up with an answer, so... If there's anything that I can do to make up for that, then you just tell me. I'll do what I can. Huh? Uh, are you saying that all things? Like erotic things too? You really need to learn to keep it in your panties. I I'm allowed to get as many ASMR recordings from you as I want? You too, huh? I, I just want to hang out and relax with you like I normally do. I can only think of things that I normally do with you. That's actually the correct choice, Fuwa-san. <sighs> I quietly thought to myself, I feel like I might have gotten a little too ahead of myself. Bonus! We're going to start our daily meeting. We will each discuss what we have done with Shoda for the whole week. There's no lying and no trickery allowed. This time around, we've brought Shoda to sit in. Why are we doing this so... regularly? It's so that we can all confirm that each of us are following the ceasefire like we said we would. I mean, everyone wasn't though, so not that it really matters. I guess I'll start off then. Shoda and I were hanging out in the sun and sunbathing together. I let him lie down on my lap and I cleaned his ears for him. You're basically doing stuff that people do when they date. Not at all. Honestly... I was so embarrassed. I've got him to record ASMR for me. You actually did that? Raychon, can you give me that data later too? No, it's only for my listening and auditory enjoyment. I went on a date with him. Planned. What's wrong with a normal event? Boy, you guys really get along well. We're all having a peaceful time together now. <laughs> 